Hello and welcome to this week's Friday tip and today's tip is going to be about 120 film. Now there's a couple of things I want to tell you about this film and how to use it. So we have all know how to take photographs with it but let's just talk about what happens after we've taken the photographs and how do we get it into our developing tank. So here we have a film it, it's just come out of the camera it's actually a test film it's there's nothing on it and it's going to be ruined anyway because I'm doing all this in the light but that's okay so here we have a film just come out of the camera and when you get the film out of the camera you want to fold this tab over like this and then use a little bit of saliva just on the end and glue that down that's all you need to do so why did we fold that over? Well, it creates a lump here in the film. You can, can you see that lump there? And this makes getting it undone to get in the tank much easier. So we get the film back into the dark room or wherever we're going to develop the film. And we turn the lights out and then we find the lump. We can even, we can do this with the lights on actually. If before we turn them out, we can scratch where the lump is there. Just scrape it with your nail and it will take that paper right off. And now the film is undone. So that's how I deal with taking the film out of the camera and preparing it for the darkroom. Remember, just fold this tab over to create the lump and then glue the thing round. And then you can scrape that off to, to break the seal. So now we have the film undone. Obviously now it's important to switch the lights out. So switch the lights out. And we start to unroll the film like this. And as we do it, I'm feeling with my hands here for the film to come out. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, and there it is. I feel it here. So I just let the film unroll like this. And now I can take this film and start to carefully tease it out of the roll. Now this side of the film, the shiny side of the film, that's the back of the film. There's nothing on there. So you, you, it's, it's quite tough. It's hard to damage this. This side of the film is the emulsion. And that's the bit that you can scratch very easily. I mean, it's pretty hard, let's face it. But you can scratch it if you mess around. So basically, use the shiny side with your fingers to just roll it up as you're undoing this. So we do this. Undoing the film. Letting it... It rolls itself up until we get to, let's just speed this up for you guys, until we get to this bit here. Now, when the film gets to this bit here, you've got some tape. And we actually want to preserve that tape. We don't want to cut that off. So what I do is, I've got the film like this, and I tear the backing off like that. So now I can discard that. I actually throw it on the floor to get it out of the way. Down it goes. And now this bit I fold over in the dark. You can do this very easily by feel. And there is our backing tape. And we're going to use that to load the film onto the reel. Now this is where it gets a little bit difficult. Loading it onto the reel. In the dark of course, all this is going on in the dark. It's really hard to line the film up and get it into these two grooves because basically you've got to try to get it into these two grooves of your Patterson reel and then push it in and start to do it and start to load it up. And that's quite difficult getting it into these grooves. You can spend ages because if you don't get it dead straight, you might get one in, but then you can't get the other one in. That is very frustrating. So there's a tip I want to show you about that. Let's just bring in my real reel. <laughs> Excuse the pun. This is my real reel that I'm going to use to load this film. And look what I've done. I've got an old set of negatives that I don't care about. And I've pushed them in just a little way, like so. They are a template for me to get this in. So in the dark, with these negatives in like this, in the dark, I can feel the reel, I can feel where the tabs are, and I can run this like this down the film, 
and the film will guide it in like so and once you've got this film guided in look look it's going straight in like that I can then pull the film out so push it in a little way you're not going to scratch the film you're not going to damage it and then while holding it here just pull out those negatives and you've got it in and there it is pull it a little bit further and then off you go you can start loading it on using your fingers to grip and twist grip and twist and it will go on I sometimes pull this out a little bit grip and twist grip and twist there we are and remember those people that use the twizzle stick let's just get this film on here on it goes nearly that whoopsie it's me rushing here we go when you've got the film on don't stop when it just goes on turn it a couple more times get it round there can you see what's happening it's going inside deeper and deeper into the reel these reels will take twice the length of film because they'll take a 220 film and a 220 is twice the length of a 120 so there's plenty on that spool to go in and get it in there a bit because what you're trying to do is get it away from the sides of the developing tank this will make it much better for the the developer to swish through and agitate properly right around the film so make sure you've got a good I think that's probably a third of an inch uh, yeah probably a third of an inch maybe a little bit more heading towards a half inch I don't go all the way into the middle just about that there which is about halfway in if you can see that in there okay and for those with a twizzle stick remember which way your lip is feel the lip with your fingers and make sure you know which way that goes in so I'm going to make that go in clockwise pop that in there pop it into my tank and I know which way that is so that when I turn with the twizzle stick most of the turning is towards that opening to force the developer through the film if you're turning it this way the wrong way I call that and it's hard for you to see I hope you can see that there's the, the edge there if I'm turning it away from that opening there's no movement of developer I'm just turning it through like this I need to force the developer through those twists of the film through the spiral so turn towards that opening and then what I do is I usually turn maybe three times that way and then maybe one time that way wait a minute three times that way one times that way and so on there you go that was quite a long tip today but I hope that's useful to you the 120 people and a lot of you which will be moving up to medium format it's a really good way of getting your film on use an old set of negatives as a template to help you feed that film onto the reel thanks very much for watching if you like this kind of tip if you like darkroom work or any kind of developing of films and photography please like and subscribe to my channel thanks very much and I will see you Tuesday.